uh, Mohammed has written in saying that is it advisable to invest a lump sum of around three lakh rupees in small and mid cap funds for a period of three years? Uh, yes, it is advisable to invest three lakh rupees, but you know, not at one go. Always spread, you know, these small mm. cap funds, uh, they are very volatile. They are less volatile than many of the individual stocks, but compared to other funds, they could be very volatile. There might be an opportunity. If you are, and but three-year time frame is not good enough. Three-year time frame is not mm -hmm. good enough for equity itself. So I would say that you know, if at all you are investing with, uh, for a relatively non-negotiable goal and trying to generate some, take a chance on your investment for three years time frame. If you don't want to take chances, go for fixed income funds mm -hmm. or go for a very small allocation, maybe equity income fund or something which has a low allocation to equity. Uh, only 10, 15, 20, 25% uh, get, gets invested in equity there. So the likelihood of losing money is far lower than equity. There could be a time frame in equity market when over a three year time period you don't make any money. Maybe your money goes down in value. There mm -hmm. was a phase not so long ago. In 2014, everybody was wa wondering what is long term, two years, three years in regular investment and it has translated into no meaningful return. So there is a phase. So for to generate return from equity, you need time. Three years is not good enough. Good enough. So what do you say, five at least? At least, at five. least five. And mm -hmm. don't invest lump sum. Okay. Uh, spread it over the at least over eight months, 10 months, 12 months at least. Okay.